So Godox recently sent me over their new LC500R, which is a great little light. It's an RGB light stick, which also has a CCT mode. So as well as being able to scroll through a full 360 degrees of hue, you can also adjust your colour temperature from 2500 Kelvin to 8500 Kelvin. You have RGB on one side and CCT on the other. This adjustability of hue and colour temperature opens the light up to be used in a variety of different situations. Using RGB lights, it's possible to play around with colour schemes, match, exaggerate and replicate already existing sources of light, and to use coloured light stylistically. Taking a look at the RGB mode on the LC500R, as well as being able to cycle through the full 360 degrees of hue, we can also adjust the saturation of each degree. It's great to have this level of control over the colour. The LC500R also comes with a remote, which is pretty handy since your lights might be boomed up high and out of reach. You can adjust all of the settings here that you can change on the unit itself, and it also allows you to choose between three of the most often used Kelvin temperatures in CCT mode, and a bunch of preset colours in RGB mode. So for this quick, low-key, gritty looking mirror shot, we shot in a tiny bathroom with barely enough space for lights. However, it was pretty easy to fit a couple of our LC500Rs in here due to the smaller size of the units. Using the RGB mode, we boomed one unit in the background to create an off-screen practical, hitting the back wall. We then placed the second unit above our subject. We also added some baking paper as diffusion to soften up our key light a little. It was really good how we got this nice reflection of the light on the wall, which really sells the look of a practical fluorescent light. The barn doors fitted to the LC500R also came in useful here, as we could control how our light fell onto the wall and onto our subject. Both units were set to a green hue to create an exaggerated fluorescent look, but we decided to tidy up the skin tones very slightly in post and take away a little bit of the green from the skin, which provided us with a little more contrast between the walls and our subject. Using the CCT mode here, we were able to boom two LC500Rs in the background to match with our key and backlight, creating these splashes of light representing some off-screen practicals. Since our key light was shot using tungsten light, all we had to do was dial in that colour temperature on our two Godox units. The LC500R also comes with built-in effects, making use of the full RGB range of the light. You can select from three different versions of each effect, mainly with variations in speed, which is great to have as an option. My personal favourites are the candle and fire effects. These are really practical and a really useful effect to have available with the click of a button. I also really like the police lights, which is just a strobing effect between red and blue. It's pretty amazing that we can just change a setting on a lighting unit and instantly get these sort of effects nowadays, as opposed to manually creating them. And it really opens up the range of things you can achieve when lighting with a smaller crew, or as a one-man band.
Overall, lights like the Godox LC500R are pretty awesome and can be useful for multiple purposes. They can give you a decently priced way to work with RGB lighting, which in turn can help you to learn more about using colour and colour temperatures in your work.